Hey everyone, it's been a while since my last video and I have some big updates for you on both Juggerbot and the future of this channel. But first up, check out my new workspace. It took quite a while to move down here and setting up my workspace took a good couple of days and a long time for everything to arrive. But now that it has, I am pretty happy with it. I think this setup is the best setup that I've had ever and I'm really keen to put it to the test and build Juggerbot here. All right, now let's talk Jugglebot. I've completely revamped the design so that if you squinted your eyes, maybe the two designs will look the same, but the new design is bigger, faster, and it has a way larger range of motion than the previous one. I'm pretty keen to get into all the nitty gritty details of this new design, but I'll be doing that in future videos. So make sure you subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that. And guess what finally arrived? The new motors that I've been waiting four months for, and I'm very keen to put these bad boys to the test and see what they can do. There should be orders of magnitude faster and more powerful than the old motors, and I'm really keen to put them into Jugglebot. Finally, a quick update on what I want the future of this channel to look like. Moving forward, I'm planning on making more regular, shorter videos that each cover one topic and one topic only. My thinking is that by doing this, it will hopefully keep the videos a bit more engaging, and also will mean that I'll hopefully have a little bit more time to work on bigger, more complicated video projects. For example, I've been working on making videos that describe the complete control and mechanics of Jugglebot, but to do this right is going to take quite a while, and I want to do it right. And that's it for this update. I'm really excited for the new Jugglebot design. It is way, way, way better than previous designs. And I know I've said that a lot, but I think it's true. <laughs> and I'm keen to be posting more regularly so that I can keep you a bit more in the loop. As always, if you have any comments or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. And until the next one, have a good one.